Testing one, two, one, two. Hi guys, how's it going? And welcome back to VR Essentials, your go-to place for all related content to the practical uses of virtual reality. Today, very exciting video because we're going to talk about the replacement of the HP Reverb G2 version 2 or version 1.2, however you want to call it, because apparently they have listened to us and what we needed and have come out and going to release a new version of the HP Reverb G2. So without further ado, let's just transition over to the other screen and look at what all this means. So if we go to the Upload VR's um, website, basically the title of the release is HP releasing upgraded reverb G2 with better tracking. Now there are another amount of various different things that uh, have been apparently improved. Uh, let me just check very quickly that you guys can actually see the article. Yes, you can. Okay, just want to make sure you can see that. Uh, so HP is set to release a new version of the HP Reverb G2 PC VR headset, taking on community feedback and making improvements to the headset's tracking, design, and compatibility. Now, if we go to the actual HP's website, uh, you will notice in the Reverb G2 section that they've already updated it. So first of all, um, there's improving of controller tracking of apparently uh, getting proof tracking below the waist with 30% more vertical area coverage. Now, to be honest with you, when HP came out with the HP Reverb G2 at the very uh, beginning, now it was a bit of an issue. There were, of course, some problems and a lot of influencers who reviewed the product uh, you know, had issues. However, I was quite lucky because I never had those issues. Um, and so far to date, they have made some improvements in the software. And honestly speaking, I can play a lot of games without any issues. Maybe if you play Beat Saber on uh, very difficult or you play O-Shape extremely fast, you may still have some tracking issues compared to, for example, infrared technology, uh, which is used in other VR headsets. Uh, but for me, it's been all fine. So the fact that they've made it even better now, that's even better news for those who are about to get the HP Reverb G2. So let me just transition back. Uh, the other thing that they've done is extended the cable compatibility to six meters. So at the moment, it's about five meters, if I'm not wrong. Um, so it's a six meter cable, which is okay, it's fine. Uh, a new adjustable face mark and face mask. I'm very interested, very curious to know how exactly this works uh, in terms of being able to adjust the face mask. Um, you know, we're, we're going to dive in more into what all this means. Let me see if they actually changed the video. Okay, so the video isn't exactly, I mean, it doesn't really say anything to be honest with you. But, uh, you know, we did do videos, do go and check these out the last couple of days about the Varjo Aero and why I feel that the HP Reverb G2 is still pretty much king in the world of PC VR at this moment in time. Uh, but of course, other VR headsets will be coming out very soon. Uh, so let me just see if we can click on stuff. Face mask, okay. Can we adjust? Can it? Does it show anything? No, not really. Okay, um, so we'll have to see how exactly this works. Let go. Let's go back to the article here. Um, so, okay, so it's been a year on. HP is looking to address some of the concerns. Okay, uh, they came out, of course, with the OmniSep, which has a whole bunch of different sensors. I'd love to get my hands on it, but of course, I'm not an enterprise, so chances are they might not really send me one. I have asked HP, however, if we can replace the current G2 that I have with the new one to see exactly what the differences are, so I can bring you some comparisons. Uh, in terms of software, HP outlined changes that Microsoft has made to the Windows Mixed Reality platform with new settings and features in Windows 11. Now, I personally don't have Windows 11. I'm not able to, to be able to install it for some reason on my computer. Um, yet at this moment in time. So I'm still running Windows 10, to be honest with you. Um, okay, so fixing our frustrations, okay. Um, so, okay, and then there was also the official HP. Let me just go to our Twitter feed. Guys, uh, do go to our Twitter. We're at VR Essentials 1. Uh, you know, we post new stuff all the time there. 
Uh, so let me just go to my Twitter feed. Uh, tweets and replies. Okay, so tweets here. Uh, and I believe that I posted... Here we go. All right, so let's go to the official HP press release page. Um, so new improved control tracking, we spoke about this, 30% more, cable 6 meters, face gasket, new design, enables eye relief to be set by either 9mm or 15mm, enabling users to better dial into the visual suite spot. So basically, um, at the moment when you put the VR headset on, when it's at the very middle, it's very clear, but on the side it can get a little bit blurry. So perhaps this is what they're really trying to address. They're trying to make it so that basically there's more sweet spot for people who have different kind of eyes biologically put together or eyesight uh, to make sure that everyone gets a much better experience. And I think this is quite important. Now, let's try and find out also if, um, you know, you can get a replacement headset or whether this means, you know, you'd have to purchase the new headset. I think these are some of the questions, uh, if they don't answer them here, that I would definitely ask HP and, and try to get for you in a follow-up video. So let me just transition over and let's see if we can answer some of these uh, questions already. Uh, infinite expanse environment built for performance. So new virtual home environment for Windows Mixed Reality devices uh, features a significant reduction in scope and size, streamlined down to single stage instead of the more feature riff rich cliff house. Oh, okay, so they've um, simplified the Mixed Reality home space as well, okay. Built with performance in mind, Infinite Expanse was designed to address long-standing customer requests for a less resource-intensive virtual home environment, allowing customers to get the best performance out of their games and experiences, okay. New virtual home environment can be found in the pins panel with the places menu. Okay, so I'll try to do a follow-up uh, video to show you guys uh, exactly what it looks like but do go and try it out let us know in the comments below uh, whether this makes any significant progress uh, for you start playing VR games Steam VR games faster new setting available to automatically launch Steam VR when Mixed Reality Portal launches allowing you to bypass the Windows Mixed Reality virtual home environment and jump directly into Steam VR now I think this is really really good uh, because obviously it is a bit um, you know, annoying when you have to go into Windows Mixed Reality, go into the panel, find Steam VR, then, or then you have a, a panel inside of your Windows Mixed Reality, you click on, and then it leads you directly. So if this can lead you directly into Steam VR, it's already one less step faster to get into VR because guys, let's be very honest, we just want to put the VR headset on our face, plug play, and we're done. We don't want to fiddle around with 10 different things for five minutes each time, right? Um, so let's continue reading, seeing what else is new in terms of all the various different things. Um, so this new setting can be found in the settings app on the Mixed Reality Startup and Desktop Automatically Startup. So guys, there you go. They made some improvements for Steam VR. I think that's fantastic. Take control by customizing the Windows Mixed Reality Startup experience. New setting available to better configure your ideal startup experience by increasing your level of comfort over when Mixed Reality Portal launches. Okay, we'll have to check what these mean. You can now control whether Mixed Reality launches when a device is connected or when the present sensor is activated, as well as control how the virtual desktop app opens. Okay, again, we're going to have to test this out, see what exactly it means. Then these new settings can be found in the settings app on the Mixed Reality Startup and Desktop. So again, you can go, I'll put a link in the description below, guys, uh, to all these things so you can go and check it out. Uh, okay, for pass-through regression for HP Reverb G2 customers, there is a known issue on the HP Reverb G2 refresh devices with the flashlight mode where a portion of the visible pass-through windows is blocked out. Um, so the fix for this issue is releasing to Windows 10 users on October 2021 via settings, Windows update, and the same fix will reach Windows 11 users on the following month in November 2021. Guys, if you're using Windows um, 11, can you leave a comment below? Let me know if it works, if you have any problems, any bugs since you've upgraded, because I got absolutely no clue. I'm, I'm not able to upgrade. Uh, my computer is not allowing me to do it. I don't know, I got a super high specs on my computer, it just doesn't allow me to do it yet. Maybe it's uh, because I'm in Singapore, I don't know. But do let me know, that would be fantastic. 
tick. So guys, um, there's no mention here whether, you know, in the article uh, or here about, you know, uh, whether the new HP Reverb G2 um, hardware, you can get a replacement or not. So, and also there's no details on price. I imagine the price would be the same um, because there's no real changes to it other than the cable, uh, some software update, and also, excuse me, the replacement replace replacement gasket, the one with the um, the various different settings. So, um, you know, it's a bit unclear about all this. So let me try to see if I can get any details by HP and get back to you guys in the next couple of weeks. Do hit the subscribe and enable bell so you get notified when I upload that very cool video. Guys, tomorrow there's going to be another video coming up about an update on the channel what the things I've been doing. Um, so, you know, and plenty more content coming up next week. Uh, of course, some various different headsets coming out. Uh, Facebook changing its name as well. That's going to be pretty big news. Um, you know, a whole bunch of different things. We're going to start also doing more stuff about um, content uh, reviews as well. Various different apps. New apps have come out. New people have come forward to me uh, with some keys. So I'm going to review their apps. And also, of course, we've reviewed, interviewed a lot of various different people in the inter in the industry, which I'll be featuring on the channel as well. So make sure you hit the subscribe, the enable button, so you get notified of all this awesome content that's coming out very soon, guys. Um, Thank you so much for watching today. Really love you guys. Thanks for subscribing. And today, tomorrow also, I will do a shout out to all the subscribers and comments uh, and welcome uh, subscribers also on the channel. So make sure you don't miss that video. Guys, take it easy and I'll see you in another video. Good to see you again.